possible tax fraud. Well, that put him on notice. He can't do that. He did it 26 times over the six years. And that is powerful evidence of criminal intent. He knew you sh shouldn't do it. He did it anyway. And why did he get away with it? Well, being in control of the federal government, he blocked the turning over of his tax returns. He blocked the audits that are required by law. And for years, he didn't receive any serious attention from the IRS auditors. Imagine that a lot of things go through him. How much blame do you think he bears for what happened on January 6th, knowing what you know now from the transcripts and the January 6th report? Well, I'm disappointed to say I wasn't surprised uh, by, you know, everybody talking about Mark Meadows and kind of his his role in this. I think he, of course, as chief of staff, holds a lot of responsibility. And I think that he should have been shutting people down the moment they were texting with ideas such as Don Jr.'s idea to have his father keep power. He should have shut that down. He should have even dealing with the ire of the president or at the, at the thought of being uh, fired. He should have been telling the president, you lost. We need to move on. Uh, certainly on January 6th, he should have been telling him to go out there and say something. At the very least, I mean, that's where, you know, that day I resigned, as you know, maybe he should have resigned. I think that something like that, someone like the chief of staff resigning in protest would have maybe made the president do something. We'll never know. This is me speculating. But uh, I hold him very much uh, in contempt with all of this. You also testify about what you called a, a complete 180 from Melania Trump in the weeks running up to January 6th and her refusal to call for peace as the deadly insurrection uh, was at full steam. You testified in part, quote, and I don't have to tell you this, but I'm repeating it. She had to, she had started to, in my opinion, drink somebody's Kool-Aid that perhaps this election was stolen. And because I knew she was up there with the carpet and I was watching violence take place at our Capitol and she just literally said no to me with no explanation. I mean, I kind of was like, just F you. I was so, so disappointed in, in her. Now, you just mentioned you resigned that day. What were you getting from her? Um, was it that you weren't getting anything or that she started to believe the election lies? So, you know, after the election, she started to become more distant. And every now and again, she would say, you know, something wasn't right with the election. Uh, you know, something bad went on here. And that just wasn't her. She was always very pragmatic. And she was always she never really believed conspiracy theories. And she was always one of the first people to speak out and advise her husband, you know, when he was not right about something. So um, it started after the election. My personal opinion is that she knew they were going to be leaving and she was going to, you know, go back to Florida and be in very close proximity with him. I think it was about survival and she didn't want to start anything with him. Again, just my opinion. Um, but then, yes, on January 6th, when I sent her that text, the fact that she didn't say, like, what is going on? Why would we even put that out? told me she knew what was going on. And the fact that she knew what was going on and just wrote back no was something I, I couldn't stand for. Uh, I had tried to resign a few times between November and January, and she'd always talk me out of it. But that day was just the last straw for me and you know several others. I want to ask you lastly about Cassidy Hutchinson, um, who, of course, testified. We all saw that being told that Trump was livid, that the Secret Service would not take him to the Capitol after his speech on January 6th. But you testified, quote, that even if Secret Service had given him permission, that man was not going to march down the street with people. I just know him. He's afraid of people. He doesn't want to do that. So you can see that, guys, right? You can hear all of this. That, that first one really notes 26 minimum, 26 minimum, 